I have a fun final story for you guys today. Uh, and, you know, as, as someone that engages in cannabis every once in a while, um, I thought this was really cool. I thought this was, this was kind of a fun little article that came out uh, about uh, why cannabis gives you the munchies. Uh, and as as states are legalizing both recreational and medical purposes, I believe that Pennsylvania is on on track for getting recreational marijuana legalized uh, across the nation. There, um, science has finally discovered why uh, uh, marijuana gives people the munchies. And I thought this was this was really a, a fun article. There, uh, a friend of mine posted this up, and and I and I looked this up, and I was like, oh man, this is really cool. This is a fun. This is a fun fucking article. So there's a a, a neurobiologist by the name of Thomas Horvath uh, at Yale University, and they uh, they said they accidentally bumped into this answer of why uh, smoking marijuana gives you the munchies, and it's basically has to do with THC and cannabinoids in your brain, right? Our, our brain actually has cannabinoids and, and cannabinoid receptors and THC receptors. Uh, it also has nicotine receptors. So be, plants, essentially, whatever, whatever plants are out there, our brain actually has receptors uh, for those things. So with THC, there are certain cannabinoids that get released to, to you know, say, OK, we're no longer hungry. You can stop eating now. Uh, and what happens with. THC is when you smoke THC or, or ingest THC or what have you, it attaches to certain cannabinoids and sends neurological signals to say that, yes, you are hungry. Um, it, it, it essentially it essentially blocks the stop, uh, stop eating signal in your brain. Um, and part of that is also because like food tastes better when you're high. Uh, so like your brain is just saying like, eat more food. Cause it's awesome and it's fun and it's great. Uh, and I mean, I have, you know, like drank a whole fucking protein shake and then gone ham on a, uh, some chips and dip and some, uh, some chocolates and cookies and shit like that. Like I've, I've definitely done that. And, you know, like been very, very full in the, the following day, you know? Um, and it's because, it's uh, it's it's the the THC is attaching to these cannabinoid receptors that you know basically mimic and send the same signals as you're hungry and you need to eat. Uh, but to me, what this says is, uh, in a medical application, which first of all, I think you should just be able to have marijuana or cannabis, uh, whenever you want. It should be recreationally legal. I don't see why it isn't. Uh, I mean, I, I know why it isn't, because uh, big pharma, criminal justice system, the police and the insurance companies don't want it to be legal because then a majority of their fucking pharmaceutical grade chemical and drugs that they sell to people would no longer be valid. Right. Like I know people who have used me weed to self-medicate themselves and it's worked better than like other pharmaceutical drugs that they've taken. So that's part of the reason why. But. Let's say you're suffering from depression, and I have, right? And uh, or you're suffering from anxiety, and I do. Um, and when you're in a state of hyper anxiety, you don't eat properly. You're 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 you know you're worried about too much, so you just don't eat properly. Or if you're depressed, you just don't feel like eating. Well, if you smoke a little pot, if you smoke a little cannabis, uh, the munchies take over, right? It it hits your neurological, uh, uh, your your neurons. The THC hooks into those cannabinoids, sends out the signals that you're hungry. You get the munchies, and then you start eating some food. So when you're depressed, you know when people go, "Oh man, you're depressed. You lost so much weight," or what have you, or or you're not motivated to do certain things. You can use THC as a way to do that. And now we've come to this point. Now we've come to this point where certain strains can be um, uh, bred properly, right? So there, there's indica, sativas, and hybrids. So let's say there's a hybrid strain that's that's blended properly and, and bred properly, that it very specifically is built for reducing anxiety and increasing hunger, right? Or that's uh, meant to uh, reduce your depression and, it, you know, uh, it still gives you the, the munchies, but it also makes you a little bit more active. And you can you can smoke that if you feel like you have these sort of symptoms. By legalizing marijuana, by uh, 
you know, realizing that this dr this quote unquote drug, when it's really a plant, has a lot more benefits than it does detriment, uh, we can help the American people. We can help improve the state of mental health and physical health in our country. So it should be fucking legalized. It should be fucking legalized. There have been days where, like, I haven't felt motivated to do a whole lot. At, you know, it's like a Sunday, and I don't want to fucking do anything, but I know I have a bunch of shit to do. You know, I got to clean up the house. I want to get back into exercising uh, uh, shape and things of that sort, and I just don't have the motivation, and I'll smoke a little bit. And all of a sudden, it's like, cool, I kind of feel like I want to do some stuff now. I'm a little bit more chilled out. I can take things one at a time, and I can do, you know, I can clean the house. I can clean the kitchen. I can reorganize my closet. I can work out a little bit without feeling the dread and feeling overwhelmed to do stuff. So, I mean, THC has a ton of applications, and it's all stuff that's in here, right? It's, it's just attaching to and amplifying stuff that's already in here. But pharmaceutical companies have drugs that do that sort of stuff well you don't need to take their drugs with their twenty thousand side effects you can smoke a little pot and you can do it you know you can either do it on a regular basis or be more regulated with it right if you're feeling down you you smoke a little bit take one or two hits and boy I'm starting to feel a little bit better and the following day if you're feeling great you don't have to smoke a little bit or you or you can if you want to like if we had that choice, if society was built that way, think of how much better and chilled out people would be. Think of the choices people would make in their lives. And if smoking's not your thing, because I know smoking isn't a, a thing for everybody, there's choices like edibles or drops. You know, the, there's like THC tinctures that you can get. There's so many things that you can do to improve people's lives for, for this plant that has been prevented because we, we decided that the insurance and pharmaceutical industry is far more important than logic and public health. Again, it's just profit versus public health argument. And we just figured out why it makes people hungry. And you're telling me that you can't, you can't use that research. You can't use that knowledge to help people. I mean, think about, think about people that, that are, uh, that have like, um, like anorexia or uh, it, I, I can't, it's one of those food disorders uh, where either people just don't eat and they starve themselves or uh, they like throw up after they eat or something. I can't remember what the difference between that is. And I apologize for that. But uh, if they smoked a little pot, then someone that is severely underweight could bring their weight up to a normal weight. Or it prevents them from throwing up the stuff that they ate because they're just enjoying food. Huge benefits to a, a wide variety of things. So, you know, and it's not addictive. Uh, it's a behavioral thing unless you want it to be addictive. So I think knowing why we get the munchies is, is actually a lot more benefit and a lot more proof uh, that we need to fucking legalize weed. That's what I think. That's what I think. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook, especially Facebook and YouTube. They often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows the forkful of noodles live virtual comedy shows uh the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website but if you're also on financial stable ground you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation 
or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. You can go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. And I hope to see you at the next video.